Be right up. Did you know that some scientists and engineers are actually trying to figure out how to build an elevator to space? Come on, let's dig deeper into space elevators. Lots of people would like to visit space. I know I would, but few people get to go. That's partly because traveling to space now is super expensive. It takes huge amount of energy for a rocket to lift off and get moving fast enough to get into orbit around Earth. The rocket needs to lift itself, the equipment, and all of the fuel that it has to burn to get out of the atmosphere. That also makes it very expensive, about $10,000 per pound. Because of this, not a whole lot of people get to go to visit space. But wait, if there were an elevator that traveled from Earth to space and back, then more people would get to go. People and equipment could be sent to space without having to use a rocket at all. A space elevator is still just an idea, but engineers and scientists are working to make it a reality. You would need to have a super strong and super long cable anchored somewhere along the equator. The cable would stretch 22,000 miles up into space, where it would connect to a landing platform. That would be like riding an elevator to the 11 millionth floor, give or take a few hundred thousand floors. So why 22,000 miles? Well, that's because objects orbiting 22,000 miles above the Earth takes exactly one day to orbit all the way around Earth. That means the landing platform will always be above the same exact spot on Earth, the place where the cable is anchored. So without rockets, where would the force come from to lift the elevator? No, not that kind of force. The power needed could come from solar panels on the landing platform. They would use the energy of the sunlight to produce electricity to run the elevator's motors. No rockets required. As amazing as it sounds, a space elevator probably won't happen for a long time. Engineers still need to invent the materials needed to make a cable strong enough and long enough for the elevator. And there are a lot of other problems that have to be solved. But who knows, maybe we'll be one of the first people to ride an elevator into space. I wonder what kind of elevator music they'll have. Um, is there any way to change the station? Hello? Anybody? And remember, if you want to learn more about space elevators, you can always dig deeper. What?